Philippians chapter 2. As we close out our Advent, I find it fitting to read the verse of a really, really old hymn, Philippians. Have this in mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. On this last day, this last week of Advent, we talk about the birth of Christ, the birth of our Savior, and that spells doom for all things evil. As we celebrate this baby who was born of a virgin, let's keep an eye out for Easter. When this child, who is no longer a child, but now a man, will willingly lay down his life for each one of us. He will conquer not only death, but he will rule the world. To define Christ at Advent is to recognize your Savior. So as we move through these final days, as we have said, make sure you get your Bible out, open it, read the scripture, do the devotion, talk about these discussion questions, and then pray over each other. So let us pray. Dear God, today, as we look toward this Christmas season, as it is finally realized this year, help us to focus on our Savior, to realize that this baby in a manger will not remain so, that he is coming back one day as King, triumphant in all things. Thank you for allowing us to study your word again this holiday season. As we truly figure out for us what Advent means, as we move prepare for your coming.